Hello, and welcome back for part 21 of This is Total War with Throg. And the things are certainly heating up here. We've got a looming battle against Throg the Unclean. We've successfully blocked his movement, and Throg will be able to hopefully take him out next turn. And then the massive gold boost from Sacking Hell Pit will hopefully be ours. But on the other side, we've got nasty army led by Rakarth that is threatening Bjornling's Gathering. So I think I'm prepared to basically go all in here, hire everything I can from the Regiments of Renown, desperately try to hold this. Um, I'm going to be making so much gold from sacking Hell Pit that that sort of one-off expenditure I think is justified. I was trying to think about how to deal with Throt here. So, Throt's on Force March, you can see how his movement's absolutely, like, really diminished here, because even on Force March, he can only get as far as this red line. And he does have... Yeah, he basically took a 75% movement range penalty. So, with that in mind, just looking at this... Okay, looks like Throg's going to be slightly out of range to attack Help It next turn. Alright, that, that's fine. Um, in that case... Let's move down to here. Go into... Ambush Stance. Yes, yeah, so Throg can't launch an attack against me because he can only get this far in Force March. Actually, Throg just can't get away here. I don't need to use Ambush Dance. I can just use Raiding Camp, save myself money. Alright, so what do I want ahead of this battle, if anything? Um, Alright, I've got full sight of his army now, and I think the unit I hadn't seen before is just next unit of infantry. So this army is really not too scary. Uh, some annoying units, of course. Right, so I could pick up missile resistance. Did you say something? Honestly, the battle against the Help at Garrison is going to be harder than the fight against Throg here, I suspect. Okay, let's go grab. Oh, hold on. How much money would that? 3% up from sacking. Yeah, that value that gets displayed kind of bounces around depending on various factors. So let's say it's 50,000. But it's not plus 3% of 50,000, it's going to be plus 3% of the base, which is probably quite a lot less than that. Yeah, that doesn't seem like too much. I think I'll go for Aura of Chaos. And deadly fangs on my wherekin. Yeah, go back into raiding camp. The advantage of raiding camp is if I end up like one thing Throck could do is try and use the underway to get away, I suppose. And if I fight an underway interception battle or something, being in this dance let me lets me replenish. Um Yeah, I think this makes more sense than ambush. It's also just financially better, of course. Uh, what to do with you? Probably head back over west. Wolfric's in a really awkward position now because I was starting to recruit these troops aiming to have to fight Strott if he came over towards me, but he went the other way. So I really don't want the soldiers here. But I really do need the soldiers over in Bjorn's Gathering. So let's recruit somebody. kind of want to recruit Olaf Hilmerson. He's the highest level lord I have. Although maybe Infernal Dominance is better. I am going to be recruiting quite a few melee units here. Yeah, I think Infernal Dance's Dominance is going to end up being better. Also, Hobra the Glutton. Who has the advantage of the battle skill and a character skill I don't know. This guy has campaign skill 1, but that's the movement rate up, which I don't really need in this situation. 
Yeah, I'm definitely not hiring someone new. Disciplined as well. I think I take Infernal Dominance over Disciplined here. And I think I take this guy over the Glutton. So you park yourself in here. And recruiting everything I can. I'm amazed I'm not more bankrupt than this is indicating. This is good. Of course, some of these units are going to die, if not all of them. We're again in the situation where, provided he makes the attack, which I think he probably still will. I mean, he's got gold experience for everyone units here. Um, we're in the situation where we either lose units and I pay less upkeep than this would say, or... We win the battle, I probably lose stuff anyway, some of it, but I get gold for winning the battle. And that 50k nice payout from Hellpit is hopefully a couple of turns out. Although maybe I shouldn't take that for granted, that battle could be super difficult. Alright, we have nothing we need to spend money on here, that's also great. Yeah, I could get this up to tier 3. That's quite expensive. Um, don't need to do anything over this way. Alright, got this guy here. I think I will pull you back, although it's somewhat useful to see what's in Frozen Landing. I'll still have sight of it for a couple of turns. Let's just follow this army. I'm not going to block it. I don't care where it goes right now. But I do want to keep an eye on it. Right, so research. We just got Raising of the Empire. That's upkeep down, which is good. And... Obviously the missile resistance and melee defense against Dark Elves would be nice, but waste, you know, spending eight turns on this when I didn't have that much warning that the Dark Elves were coming doesn't seem great. Uh, I mean, there's lots of okay but not amazing options, I feel like. So Annihilation the Skaven. We're already Annihilating the Skaven. We don't need to worry about the Dwarves. I don't think the Vampire Counts are actually going to be any kind of like end boss here. I am interested in trying Marauder Cavalry. That speed plus 10 is really nice. I am interested in trying a Marauder Cavalry army actually against Chaos with all their melee troops later in the campaign. But I don't really need to rest to grab that. Armor from Marauder Infantry. I mean, that's been here the whole time. It doesn't feel like I really need it. Uh, my characters are just too busy to be doing monster hunts, although that would be fun. Recruitment down for those units here. Yeah, we just don't have them yet. Uh, I could go for this for the extra global public order. Opening up these options. This is not bad just for the post-battle loot. That's not specific to fighting against Tilia. Income for sacking plus 10%. Yeah, okay. That's that's probably better. We definitely have some big sacking uh, opportunities coming in here. So I think I have to decide... I have to decide what to do with Wolfric. One possibility is to just straight up disband him. That seems like a bit of a waste. I'm going to have so, so much money that I will be able to have a second army at least for a while. So I could move him west like this. Keep recruiting. Oh, right. I can't raid in camp. Yeah, I'm also going to... Uh... Yeah, I'm also going to have a revolt here soon. Wolfric. I was thinking I'll have Wolfric head west. I 
Maybe he should. Maybe he does need to stay here, and I'm just not going to be in a position to counter check against the Dark Elves. And I just have to hope. They could easily lose that to the revolt, actually, before they get another. They, before they even get the settlement developed, because it's that's right, it's tier one, but this is the port, so they can't even do much here. All right, maybe I should have, uh, maybe I should have moved Wolfric only back a little ways, gone into encamp stance. Let, let's build troops up here. We're gonna have a revolt here. I, I probably could prevent it if I needed to, but I'm thinking I'd actually like to get experience up on Wolfric. He's four levels away from his mammoth. Getting experience on his soldiers would be good too. Okay, yeah, I think that's fine. Let's hold off on that. That's a lot of money. We can obviously do it soon, but getting it one turn sooner is, is a difference of 100 gold, which in the scheme of things is irrelevant. Okay, we also... Yeah, we also want to save money for hiring some uh, Fimia next turn, possibly. Okay, and I don't believe I met any new factions. Student... Yeah, that was assigned. Great. Yeah, good. Okay. Yeah, there's no way they weren't launching this attack. Alright, and the balance of power is massively out of our favour. But... Yeah, and I can see why. <laughs> mm. I don't know that this is unwinnable. Um, not great that they have anti-large units when some of my best units here are large. That definitely sucks. They don't have many missile units. They've got three Cold One Chariots. They've got the Charybdis, the Hydra, the Explosive, explosive Squigs. I assume these are a bit like the Bloated Corpse with the explosion effect, where it's good against infantry but pretty bad against large units or single entities. Uh, Harpies I'm not concerned about. They don't actually have three full units of that, which is good. Uh, let's just check out you. Stops Rampage, leadership up. Okay, so that's good against... That's good against large units too. Crap. And that boosts his own cavalry or monsters. Right. Yeah, okay. So one big problem we have is just the strength of their melee line. Um, let's look at the melee stats. 43, 57, 34. Oh, we actually have... Hmm, a melee, melee defense not terrible here. Okay. I'm just trying to think about how to go about this. At some level it's going to come down to a big melee scrap, but I need to try and be able to concentrate my powerful melee units against few of their units at a time. We definitely can't fight all the Black Guard at once, so I need to use my fast units, I th think. But their own fast units are going to be a problem. Alright, let's give this a go. I think we have more of a chance than the balance of power is suggesting there, I have to say. Yeah, I'm not too concerned about their assassin. I've got a unit of bleak swords and a unit of bolt, uh, crossbowmen who I don't think are that scary either. Alright, so I've deployed like this. So we can see, yeah, Doom Fire Warlocks on this flank, chariots, harpies here. Yeah, really unfortunate I don't have magic, but can't obviously do anything about that. So, hmm. How fast are Doomfire Warlocks? Like, they're fast, right? 92. Yeah, they outspeed all our stuff. That's bad. 
What are the magic? Oh, they've got the doom bolts. Yeah, that's not good. They're not so good. Like our um, our armored skin wolves, we fine against them. I think I need to split my army up, have some faster. F These guys outrange, outspeed the w the warlocks. That's good. Yeah, I think I need some f some fast units on one flank. It's so tricky because I've got fast units that are actually not bad at fighting. Always makes things tricky. I don't think just deploying for a straight up melee scrap in the you know, battle line to battle line is going to be effective. No, I don't, I don't, yeah. I want to avoid that strategy. Okay, so... Lord is here. That's a good start. Let's have, uh... We are going to have some kind of melee line. I think that means keep my... Strongest melee infantry here. Although these guys don't need to be by the lords, they can just be holding. They should actually be pivot, like holding on this flank. These guys always die, but they do hold, which is the main thing. Alright, so what if I do something like this? Great weapons. Yeah, so as we go over this way, there's definitely going to be more fighting, probably. I'm, I'm imagining troops on, on my right side here will end up facing the hardest fighting. So let's have the trolls on this side, where they can hopefully do damage without being clobbered. And whack in here as well. And the mammoth. Okay, move you along a little. Yeah, it's fine. Then also the skin wolves on this flank. Yeah, skin wolves I think are a good um, good unit to send up against the the warlocks because they don't take much damage from the doom bolt and they can they should be able to beat them in melee. Then I've got a lot more infantry and then my faster right. Yep. Okay, move these units over and put my basic marauders here and then the spearmen on this flank, but I don't want my formation being this wide, right? What does it achieve? Yeah, I think the basic marauders are sufficiently bad at fighting against such high tier and experienced units that I'll actually just keep them behind. Uh, my missile guys, I can start here. These units are not going to break. Not easily, anyway. Chaos Marauders. Yeah, I'd rather have the Boots of the Hound in the front and the regular Marauders behind, and then a Spearman on this flank. Okay, this that leaves these guys without anyone to boost their leadership. Okay, in that case, Skinwolf come back over here. Chaos comes. Yeah, these units suffer from not being faster than their fast units. Oh, I've got the Icehorn Marauders too. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, really unsure on how to how to best approach this battle, I have to say. I feel like I've kind of got tools that can be effective, but the enemy army is so strong, so many elite units, and has a good mix of... Certainly on the speed side, they don't have many missile units. Um... I feel like my basic Warhounds, I just start over here, and if anything chase after them, that's just a win. But I don't really try and do anything else. 
And then the chariots. These guys. I can stick here. Okay, I'll stick them in a single command group, but... Oh, shoot. Hold on. Oh, right. I didn't have a second command group. Um... Yeah, let's go with this, see what happens. Definitely want my army on this side to advance. Okay, the harpies are coming in. They don't scare me too much. Does not look like they're giving me any units on this flank to go after. Pull back this way. Yeah, chariots are coming after us here, that's actually okay. Here come the Doomfire Warlocks. Uh, we're gonna have a problem with them getting at us before we're ready. Just make sure we see them off of these skin wolves. Yeah, Doombolt down on the skin wolves, that's absolutely fine. Mammoth get in there too, obviously. Okay, over here. Got a lot of spearmen. Oh, more of savage savagery just getting absolutely wrecked in the end. Wow, that's not what I expected to happen. Ouch. Okay, this is fine. Oh no, this is going to do a ton of damage. Yeah, that was nasty. Alright, we've at least got a chance to take out these units piecemeal though. So we obviously should be taking it. Yeah, more of, sav more of the savage savagery did not perform as well as I was hoping they would there. Okay, it's Hydra's coming into combat. Let's get the chariots out. You guys need to keep... Actually, you can probably try and run round. Alright, the crossbows are in range. Harpies have come in. That's... Fine. All right, that unit's terrified, I guess. Oh, the Hydra's yeah, the Hydra's terrifying. Fair enough. Okay, we have managed to break these units. Lost almost all of our Marauder champions. Don't know how that happened. Oh, here's the Charybdis. That's not good. And here are the Black Guard. Alright. Well, I'm going to attempt to roll up this flank, but given the quality of the units, boy, it's going to be difficult. Okay, get these units around here. Go with those Doomfire Warlocks. Like it did too much damage. Okay, this is wavering. All right. Don't know how we're actually doing damage to it, but we are. You guys get over here. Yeah, that unit's that, that unit's literally one guy. We don't need to do anything about it here. That's Rakarf. Okay, you need to hit the War Hydra. Yeah, on this flank we're doing we're doing okay. We're doing okay. I really do not care about their. Silly um, um, harpies. Okay, We're losing on this flank. That's it's alright. Got let's say units tied down. Yeah, skin wolf broke, but he did. He absorbed a lot of damage. It's not not too bad. Try and get into the rear of these black guard. Okay, yeah, this flank's kind of collapsing, that's bad. Just try and pull this army, this unit off this way, get the troops out of position. Yep, take out the other Dark Shards. The issue is we're just not doing enough damage to their, um, their Black Guard here. Oh, the Silly Crib just has come back. Oh, and it regenerates too. Right, I forgot about that. Um, you guys, you go after the Crib War Mammoth. 
Yeah, really need to try and squash these black guard. This unit's wavering, that's good. I think I need to just get the mammoth into big clumps of enemy infantry. That's usually where it performs best. Right, that's Rakarf. Let's run run away from him. Yeah, you keep retreating, that's fine. You're gonna be regenerating, which is good. Yeah, this unit's shattered. Great. That's only half a unit of Black Guard. We can possibly take it on. Alright, not with the Warhound, so get them out of there. Yeah, you're gonna have to just keep retreating. Okay. Kinda wanna cycle charge a little with the Mammoth here. Alright. You, you guys need to actually finish off the Silly Charybdis, it turns out. Yeah, we need to just concentrate on breaking these units. Spearman ran away, that's fine. Again, it's kind of a case of trading, you know, one of their better units for one of my crappier units. Our oh, mammoth's taking a lot of damage, that's unfortunate. Yeah, that's the silly... That's the silly black guard being anti-large. Hmm, I think we've just taken a bit too much damage here, probably. Oh, that damage, that charge is so nice, though. Deals damage to so many units at once. Alright. At this point, I'm just dogpiling in. It's not a good target for the missile units. Yeah, you come here and try and... kill one of these guys. Mammoth needs to use its shield. Yep. Okay, there's Rakov coming into combat. Yeah, let's get you out of there. Good, still pulling their troops over this way. Alright, we've got half a mammoth. Half a mammoth and a dream. Okay, you're not supposed to be melee. I see what happened here. Yeah, that's my fault. Okay. Uh, let's kill Rakoth. Come on, he can't be ter that tough. We're just dogpiling him here. Right, so you guys rallied. Get in over this way. Cycle charge of you again. Yeah, really struggling for numbers here. But that's sort of struggling with numbers too. Okay, Rakarth. Okay, we're gonna break him. The assassin's almost used all of his missile weapons. His ammo. The chariots. These units all chasing my marauder horsemen, but they can just run away. Yep, that's absolutely fine. Our lord's still doing okay. You get in here. Yep, kill them. Mammoth. Do mammoth things. Okay, Rakoth is... Oh, he hasn't broken. Alright, we're just sort of milling around him. No, needed to kill him. Kill him, kill him, kill him. I don't think they've got enough stuff left here, I'll be honest. They do have they do have units here that I need to deal with. That's that's something. But I think we've got enough left that they're not they're just not dealing enough damage to us. Yeah, let's run these guys down. Okay, six six left there. We don't need to run them down. Never mind. Yeah, high leadership units fight it's a you know fight to the last man, but then it's not too bad to actually run them down. All right, there's this assassin we have to get. He's almost out of ammo. Let's have the chariots go after him. I think we've got this though, like I say. Boy, that was a really interesting fight. Um, I, I would say the Black Guard underperformed. Like, I th thought they'd just shred through us way more than they did. Of course, the Mammoth, like all, almost all these kills are Black Guard, but the Mammoth just did an awesome job for us. But still, I felt like the Black Guard were even held by our basic infantry quite well in the end. Okay, it's not over yet though, let's let's not mess things up here. So they've got Cold One Chariots with not much ammo, a War Hydra, and then... Oh, those are just Bleak Swords. Oh, right, okay, I thought they were another Black Guard unit. Assassin's Routing, okay. You lot don't need to chase after him. Leave that to the Chariots. Oh, wait, hold on, I just gave a command I didn't mean to. 
No, no, it's okay. It's okay. You guys are you guys are coming back over here. So I've got nothing left over this way. All right. So let's reform a bit of a battle line. Still have missiles left on our hunters. Yeah, we don't need all those units over there killing Rakarf. Um, looks like our skin, our Wekin got killed. That's okay though. Yeah, these are just regular Marauders. They're using the last of the ammunition on them. That's fine. So, what do we want against the War Hydra? Hmm. Spearmen. Guys, come over this way. We've got seven brutes of the hound left. All right, we need to do something about that. They're not supposed to survive battles. They're not supposed to survive battles where the balance of power was like mega against us. That's not how this works. <laughs> oh, they're breaking. We got them. All right, now don't let them get away. Do not let them get away. Oh, that was a big old win. I'm I'm really surprised we pulled that off, given the balance of power. I definitely needed to invest in, in all the um, mercenaries, though. No doubt about that. That was a good call. Rakhal's wounded. Good. This is... Um, oh, right. No, it's a new lord. Never mind. I was about to make a comment about, like, oh, it's the third time this lord's, like, bailed us out of a tough situation, but this is a new chat. Hmm. I really feel like, yeah, I felt like it didn't start great. I mean, the Doomfire Warlocks got some kills off against us. Um, oh, we need to try and, yeah. I shouldn't do the post-battle analysis while there's still troops to run down here. Okay, you're probably just going to be shooting our own cavalry more than the Mammoth at that point. Uh, sorry, rather than the Hydra. But you know what, it's okay, they're part of the garrison. Yeah, killing this Hydra would be good. We've almost killed enough of the... Yeah, close to killing enough of those to let them go. Is anyone else? Oh, the chariots. Okay, we couldn't catch them. We've almost wiped out the rest, though, I want to say. I love this unit so much. It's actually one of my favorite units in the whole game. Soul Crusher. Just the combination of, like, the usual mammoth awesomeness plus the... Um, self buff for the 44% damage resistance. You really don't want to make them angry. No, really. <laughs> okay, we're not really doing a great job of capture of like actually stopping the mammoth running off the battlefield. I guess we're just too small. The units we can't get him bugged down. Okay, who is this? Uh this is the assassin. Yeah, he's worth trying to kill too, I think. So the chariots escaped, this Hydra's going to get off the battlefield as well. I don't think Black Guard got away. I don't think the missile units really got away. Yeah, I think more or less everything else we were able to, to wipe out, which is awesome. Pirate victory. Oh, you know, I'll still take it. I look at the balance of power at the start of that, and the game was not saying we had a chance here. Yeah, look at their army. Their army is absolutely wrecked. Oh, that was fun. Still still kind of amazed at how I managed it. I think kind of the funny case where like quantity of quality ran out went out, uh, went out more than I thought it would. Uh garrison units getting three Chevron's experience. Absolutely love it. And was that four K gold, I think? Nice. So this unit got wiped out completely, that's fine. And the Wekin also died, yeah. 1900 more gold. Love it. I think their army's gone. I don't think they get to keep just those two units. Oh no, they do. Okay. Well, that's... Oh, that's okay. We can go finish them off then. Alright. Who's next on the menu? 
Well, I was going to say Throt, but Throt decided not only did he not move, he didn't even bother coming out of Force March. He's just accepting that Throg is coming. All the world is meat for my grinder. You fa Nope. Don't care who you are. Nope. Alright, you picked up a charm shield too. And Oh, that's interesting. Minus five leadership for enemy monstrous units, local enemy armies. Alright. And bonus versus large. Okay. Yeah, I hadn't seen Rakov's defeat trait before. And that rating is just this army of two chaps. Yeah. We don't care about that. Alright, and somehow we actually start this turn with 7,000 gold. This is the, uh, yeah, I mean, this is what you can do with, with Norska. You, you know, you start winning battles, making money from sacking, and that really powers you up. Alright, so you brought in a Supreme Sorceress just to die. Okay. We are going to go kill her. What? and have to decide what to do after that, but let's... I mean, yeah, I'm fighting this battle no matter what. Into the fray of the tribe. Really? You think this is an even battle? That's This is one of the most farcical balance of powers I've ever seen. Alright, whatever. It was way off on Rakoff's army and it's way off on this. Like, what's this sorceress gonna do? She's, she's going to Spirit Leech someone, okay? And then she doesn't do anything else. What's the Hydra going to do? Alright, it's going to regenerate a bunch of health, fair enough. Is it going to beat the Mammoth? No. Is it going to beat these other units? Not really. They've got three chariots and some harpies. I don't know. Alright, we want to get at them here because the, the Hydra will regenerate. So, I think we are just rushing in here. Yeah, I, I, I'm I, baffled about that bounce of power. This seems like... I thought this would be a super, super free win. Yeah, they don't... Oh, they have missile units. They have, yeah. Uh, right, we have to be a little careful of those Cold One Chariots. They can mess up our Warhounds and stuff, no problem. What's the range on this? 90, okay. I'm not planning to keep these units around. Um, I'm certainly not planning to keep all of them around. I guess I have to decide at the end of this turn whether to... basically keep some army with um, Uber here to push towards... Uh, Troll Fjord and actually just take it off the Dark Elves. Onwards! By God's call! Get them! Leader of savages! Born to fight! Yep, get in there. This is not a case for subtlety. That said, no point sending in the Warhounds first, they will just die. Yeah, skin wolves have to go for the Hydra. That's a matchup that makes sense. Probably should go after the Sorceress with the Boots of the Hound. You can go after the Harpies. Shields up. Yeah. Yeah, victory's in our grass. Like, I I don't know. Balance of power, power had a bit of a bit of a wobble on both these uh, dark elf fights. Yeah, and of course the sorceress is getting hacked apart, unsurprisingly. Yeah, 
guess we have to send something to chase after the chariots, but maybe not even really. No, actually, you're not a good person to chase after the sorceress. Kill her with the hounds. Alright, hide her down. Yeah, we got this. Enemy Lord's dead, good stuff. And we won. Nice job. Good. Given the choice between wiping Rakoff out completely or um, being able to fight this extra battle, this extra battle is actually way better. I was thinking, like, oh, I won't be able to keep all these regiments renown around because they're too expensive, but of course, I've paid the upkeep for them for this turn anyway, so they certainly may as well go after uh, this lot. Alright, 1400, yeah, almost about 1800 gold extra from, the, from, from this battle. Great. Okay, Victor Sword of Might. Just check on this guy's skill tree. So we picked up. Oh, we picked up Voice of the Dark Gods. Okay. Oh, that's actually a solid choice for for this kind of like emergency battle. Um. Yeah, let's hold off on that skill point just for the time being. We certainly have the option of going for Twelfth Fjord and making sure it's actually blown up rather than trusting to the. Uh, Uh, the revolt that's going to happen. If I look at the... Ooh, oh, they actually... Command. That was their whole army. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, they'll be starting to recruit new units, of course, back over in Albion. I don't think an invasion of Albion is going to be feasible at this point. Okay, I think next on the docket is killing Throt's army. Okay, and you are on your chariot. That's very good. Have the option of adding next to hero in here, but I don't think that's necessary. Alright. Reckons the balance of power is reasonably even. I don't agree with that. I think we're going to be able to deal with them pretty well here. They've got a menace below. Also, the game is saying. I think this indication is bug though. We're actually fighting them in Sylvania territory, so there's not much. Oh, there, there could still be some scape and corruption from, um, from Osmosis. Right, right, right. Yeah, this is another case where I feel like balance of power is just drunk. <laughs> Go home, balance of power. You've had one too many. Alright, gotta respect their uh, ranged units, Death Globes, Jezails, Plague Claw, but we can deal with it. The main infantry line is just gonna melt. Gonna melt to Javelins plus Throg. That is not a concern, I think. So, this will be the third battle where Gorich, the legendary uh, abomination hero, is going to be a pincushion, which amuses me greatly. Alright, good roll on the magic, no annoying terrain in the way, oh no snow, interesting. I guess this kind of counts as the empire or whatever. So if they're going to take a defensive position that's absolutely fine, but between the menace below and my going up there and toasting some of them with magic, I think I can get them to come towards me. In any case, let's go for a normal deployment just to start out. I think they have I think they maybe have like one unit of storm vermin right, but yeah, the rest of their infantry is just not that heavily armoured. Okay, I'll stick Throg right in the middle of my... Javelin guys here for the menace below. 
Turn off fire at will. Need to obviously remember to turn it back on. Chariots. Group 3. Yeah, it looks good. And let's find their catapults. There you are. Okay. No, we're, we're way out of range. That's fine. Okay. Plenty of magic. We're not in a rush here at all. Just take our time. Yep, he's using that uh, Van Mulder clanstone on his hero or one of the other large units. Just heal it up a bit. No worries. So do we actually have a menace below or not? Mm-hmm. We do, we do. Let's get this melee defense buff down. Alright, they're rather straight away. Excellent. Yeah, you just need to give them a bit of a quick punch and they'll rout. Didn't actually take any damage at all. Really nice. Okay, the rest of our army is going to come for us now. That is fine. Let's have Throg make his way back to the front. They're surely not going to have a second menace blow. I think so. If they do, it's not a big deal anyway. Alright, and fire at will. Oh, they're holding back. I guess they might. Let's see, I think I want my chariots to go around the flank that has the wolf rats as opposed to the doom flayers. That just seems like a pretty logical decision. Alright, and no second menace below by the looks of it. So we're going to take catapult fire going in here, but then we're going to be immolating some ratties. What do I actually want to do magic wise? Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to get shot by the Jazales too, I guess. Yeah, this might be a bit of a tricky operation. I think I'll just try burning head up the line here, not not try and get too fancy. Yeah, they're on the move too, which probably helps for getting some magic going. All right, and let's get out of here. Yeah, that's a solid cast. I mean, it's hitting units that aren't very valuable, but we do need to kill them eventually. Ah, uh, now they're coming towards me, yep. In come the wolf rats. How fast are they? Yeah, 95, but they are tired. And I think if we turn around, we can just straight up beat them. Yeah, what's that? Okay, he's got some abilities activating their throats, but that's okay. Right, so now the question is, can I... I think I want to split my chariots up. I want to keep the sorcerer able to deploy his magic against the army, and I want my chariots to have a run at the Plague Claws, if the Skaven will let me. And again, yeah, deploying right this far back has the advantage of maximizing the chance for the AI army to basically spread out. Yeah, the play claws are sat still firing at us now. Even if we get sort of blocked off by the river units and can't attack them in melee, we've done what we wanted to. Okay, let's get more magic down here. Yeah. 
Ah, that was a poor cast of the uh, burning head. Unfortunate. Did a little damage right at the end, I guess. So what do we have here? Gorich and Strat. Yeah, obviously high priority targets. Chariots get a free run at the Playclaw. Yeah, AI did not do a good job at all at defending their uh, catapults. Nice. Just have a quick check if I need to pivot my battle line at all. Yes, I do. Need to pivot it like this. Because otherwise... Gorich, yeah, otherwise the units on this flank hitting first. That's something I've I've needed to do in other battles and not uh, yeah, not done it. Alright, the Gisales are hitting my chariots, but that's fine. I think at this point we can actually just pull the chariots back. They don't need to stay in melee. Get the chariot, uh, get the this guy around the flank. This game's got his slave spears, yeah, do not care. Death Globe Bombardiers do care. Okay, chariot lost, but it's okay. Okay, let's get Throg. Yeah. We are going to get hit here. Oh, there goes Gorich and the Javelins again. Love it. Yeah, those are just Skaven Slaves, no problem at all. These units are just going to route on contact. Yeah, we have to be careful of the Death Globes. That's the only thing here. Okay, may as well pop this because it's not good for anything else. Uh, no, I don't need to. Alright, Wolfrat set us in the flank. Not ideal there. What about you guys? Yep, yeah, get back up to them. You're doing fine. Throg's absorbing damage. Yep, yeah, probably part of that damage is Throg himself. Rat Ogres. I didn't even realise he had Rat Ogres, but... Apparently they had rat ogres. Yeah, bit of damage on these ones. Yeah, it's okay. We should be able to replenish most of it. Oh, there's a plague monks. Yeah, okay. And who is this? Is this Throt or is this Gorich? Oh, it's Throt. Okay. Yeah, run the rubber stuff down. They're not going to last too much longer here. Ah, pestilent breath doing more damage. Yeah, a bit much... A bit more damage on my infantry than I would have liked for sure. Um, could probably have done a bit better at avoiding that. And I do want to try and kill these Gisales. Alright, units are coming back in, but honestly... don't think they should cause us too much trouble. I have the usual problem with my army just being a bit too static. Not microing it where I should be. Alright, this unit took way too much damage. Get back. Okay, but that I mean, yeah, we are we are routing them here. They're, they're not going to come back for much more. I think Trot's about to break. Yeah, these units are gone. Okay, I think they're very close to the army losses. Uh, wasn't the cleanest win. Started well, and then took a bit of damage at the end that I didn't need to. All right. Hopefully between um, the option that gives replenishment after the battle, plus being able to go into in raiding camp this turn, should be able to get lots of that replenished. Right, let's try and actually kill their heroes here. I think the way it works is the more kills you get, the more gold you get. And, and if I the fewer kills I get, the more I'll get from um, the like enslave option on replenishment, but for their heroes, I think I want to kill them for the extra gold if I can. Even though they're on force march. Oh, I didn't realize they lost three Fimir as well, it's too bad. Yeah, I probably underestimated a little their um 
Plague Monks here. They got a bit of magic off. Alright, Sorcerer did well. Oops. Uh, oh, camera angle got messed up there. That doesn't really matter. Okay. Yeah, 323 kills. Alright, that was what I was trying to see. Yeah, more of this stuff got a melee than I should have really allowed. But not to worry. Oh, I don't, I don't get to... Why do I not get to replenishment? I don't understand that. Oh well. And it's another charm shield. Okay. My eyes ain't calm. Oh shoot. And now Ah well hmm. Sork's now stuck in the zone of control of Fort Staghoff. But that's just Okay, that yeah, that's not gonna be a problem. So I can sack this and then get a yeah, I can sack this and get a little ways over here, go into encamp in stance for some replenishment and hopefully hit hell pit next turn. Shaman sorcerer. Right. And there's no military presence here. Harbinger of war. Not exactly sure. I feel like I don't need all three of my scouting sources over this way. Say something. But I do want to have a quick look at the Hell Pit. Um, yeah, garrison here. So we've got Plague Priest, Warlock Engineer, Plague Monk Sensor Bearers. Four units of those, holy cow. Death Runners, Clan Rat Spears, Clan Rat Spears, Poison Wing Globideers, Hell Pit Abomination. Rat Ogres. Okay, okay. This is not as bad in terms of a garrison as I thought. A lot of their large units are javelins are actually good against. Like, javelins aren't that good in most sieges, especially if the enemy missile units have longer range, but they have very few missile units. There's a unit in, uh, unit in here I can't see that could well be... Well, I guess from this it has to be Clan Rat Spears, right? Okay, this is looking a lot better. I was concerned there'd be a bunch more missile units in the... Um, in the enemy garrison. Like, these Death Runners, they don't have missile weapons. Okay, cool. Alright. And... What to do with Throg? So, leadership I'm not concerned about. Weapon strength of 20% is reasonable, so is this. For the extra melee attack, although I can't get all of that. Yeah, I don't want to prioritize that one. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about Frostworms. I mean, I might recruit them, but I don't think this is worth a point. So... Yeah, I mean, I guess it comes down to what sort of army Throg will have later. This is this has been yeah I mean this has been a reasonable point with the two units I have now. I can't imagine making a stack with Throg with lots of ice trolls. I know it's kind of on theme, but I just don't think it's that effective. So that's plus fifty weapon strength. Okay, let's put a point in Windmaker. And yeah, because of the... Because of where Throg, uh, Throt sorry, was standing, we do have to make this attack. Um, yeah, we really shouldn't take any damage here. It's kind of nice to get a free-ish battle. I'll just sack it. Yeah, bit of damage on some of these units, but it's it should be okay. Alright, well, that was exciting.
really nice to have that battle against Rakarth. I was concerned that it would be backdoored by those Dark Elves, but we pretty much stomped him. And yeah, Palpit is a couple of turns away and that juicy juicy sack income. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll be back for the next part.